If I ever catch you snooping about, I have more! all of your house points. In the dungeons again, I wouldn't be surprised if you became hopelessly lost. I'm in the potions classroom. Better keep an eye out for Snape. Oi, Harry, want a trade? Hi, would you consider a trade? Hi, I found some bicorn horn to add to the po- Great, I'm still trying to find the location of the next ingredient, but I should have it tracked down soon. In the meantime, I'll go add this to the potion. They're starting a dueling club and the first meeting is today. That could be interesting. Come to the Great Hall if you want to learn how to duel. see me? Can you all hear me? Excellent. I started Dueling Club to train you to defend yourselves. Dueling Club meets every day in the antechamber just outside the Great Hall. In Wizard Dueling, the object of the exercise is to incapacitate your opponent. There are three spells you may use in Dueling. Rictus Sempra, which knocks your opponent back and reduces stamina. Mimble Wimble, which prevents your opponent from accurately casting their next spell. Expelliarmus, which reflects spells back onto your opponent. To select a spell, scroll through them by using the space bar or the right mouse button. To cast a selected spell on your opponent, press the left mouse button. You may build up the strength of Rictus Sempra and Mimble Wimble by holding the left mouse button down. Note that potion drinking and jumping during duels are prohibited. A pledge of Bertie Bot's every flavoured beans is required to duel. The victor wins the opponent's beans. To challenge a student to a duel, simply walk up to them. If you have enough beans, you will be invited to duel. My assistant, Professor Snape, I am your colleague, not your assistant, has informed me that he knows a tiny bit about dueling and has graciously agreed to monitor the duels. And now for a brief demonstration, Mr. Potter, if you'd like to partner up with Mr. Weasley... I don't think so. Time to split up the dream team, I think. Mr. Malfoy, Come over here. Let's see what you can make of the famous Potter. Thrashing, you will be a treat, Potter. Very well then. One's at the ready. When I count to three. Scared, Potter. You wish. One, two, three. Today, Potter, you will have the pleasure of dueling the great Slytherin house. Get to you. Strike him back. Mimblewimble! Savage spells, eh, Potter? Rick to Semper! Rick 
to Sempra! Expelliarmus! Serpent Sortier! Leave me alone! What was that? Did Harry just hiss? That couldn't have been. It couldn't be. Not him. You're a parcel mouth, Harry. You can talk to snakes. Why does it matter? It matters, Harry, because being able to talk to snakes was what Salazar Slytherin was famous for. Oh, no. Exactly. Now the whole school's going to think you're his great-great-great-great-grandson or something. But I'm not. Anyway, we'll see you later, Harry. Bye, Harry. Harry lay awake for hours that night, wondering. Could he be a descendant of Salazar Slytherin? I won't be seeing you in Herbology class. I'll be in Moaning Matters bathroom working on the Polyjuice Potion. I can't believe Hermione is skipping class. Well, we better get outside to Herbology, Harry. Come on. I just saw my man. Welcome to second year Herbology, everyone. And for those of you who have forgotten, I am Professor Sprout. Let's dig right in, shall we? Today, I'll teach you Defindo, the severing charm. Harry Potter, would you like to plant your feet in front of class and be the first to learn the spell? I'd be glad to, Professor Sprout. Taking a leaf from Hermione's book, aren't you? Now, Mr. Potter, please fix your gaze on the symbol in front of you. See the pointer? It's about to move its way around the shape. When the pointer passes directly over the arrow, press the corresponding arrow key. This exercise is in three parts. In each part, you must be accurate in order to progress. Ready to try? Round one, go! Done, Harry. You've moved on to the next level of the lesson. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two. Go. Well done, Harry. You've moved on to the next level of the lesson. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three. Go. You've completed all of the exercises in top form. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You have learnt Defindo, Harry. We've planted a seed of greatness here today. Now let's move on to the Defindo challenge.
welcome Harry Potter to my Defindo challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which can be found in a hallway just above you. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. I highly recommend you try to find all of them. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Some vines and plant growth can cover doorways and openings. You can use Defindo to cut through them and clear your paths. Mushrooms can give off a cloud of poisonous gas, Harry. Avoid them, or use Defindo to cut their stems. Defindo! Once you have separated a hawk lamp from its stem, you can pick it up and throw it.
Victor's Emperor! Victor's Emperor! Victor's Emperor! Avoid them, or use Defindo to cut their stems. Defindo! 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 Flipendo! Defindo! on that spider web.
It's the dark wooden trails. Cast to finger on them to make them disappear.
You have completed my Defindo challenge. The remaining time now becomes your personal high score. <laughs> 